what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson I'm a Ghanaian um, and I live in Ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube thank you for checking me out if this is your first time of watching my videos kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel hey thank you very much for checking me out my name is Eko Simpson you already know so today is a beautiful day here in Ghana in the central region I am very happy anytime there is development in central region all right so we are building a pan-african museum you know that right so my two previous videos i made was about this project that is ongoing and i told you that on the 5th of may 2021 his excellency the president of ghana will be here to cut short for the construction of this project so today we came here to do the business like i said in the previous videos so the president was here other dignitaries were here and then we did what we are supposed to do so i'm going to show you a video of what really happened here when we came to pomazi where the construction is going to take place thank you for checking me out I can foresee this whole area transformed as a major tourism destination for all Africa, generating huge revenue to the national purse. I am delighted to be part of this epoch-making event, and I wholeheartedly accept to be chairman for the soft cutting for the start of the construction of the Pan-African Heritage World Museum. Ladies and gentlemen, I will loudly inform that this project which I designed is to be completed by the end of 2023. It's expected to be the first of its kind in Africa and possibly the whole world and that it is also the brainchild of our own Honorable Professor Kojo Yanka, former Central Regional Minister in the late 1990s, and now the Executive Chairman of Pan African Heritage World. It's also gratifying to note that the project has received endorsements from the African Commission, Association of African Universities, United Nations Educational scientific and cultural organization, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, and the Government of Ghana. Almost a year ago, in September of last year, 2020, an idea 
we have elated over a decade, saw the lights at a global retail launch that was witnessed by over 3,000 people across the world via internet. Thanks to His Excellency the President of Ghana, who addressed the occasion, expressed his support, and invited his colleagues and the peers of the African community to rally behind it. I'm happy to report that since then I've been invited to over 100 radio and television stations and more than 50 Zoom meetings throughout the world to talk about the Pan African Heritage World The enthusiastic response to this project is immeasurable. And it assures me and my colleagues on the team that they could not be better time. Principles of living have disappeared. The Pan-African Heritage World Museum, which we are creating, aims to bridge the gap that has widened for over 400 years. We seek to create a Pan-African Heritage City in this environment to teach, to heal, and to inspire. We have the best museologists and scholars on our academic council from all corners of the Pan-African world. Which council is authenticating the history, the arts, and the culture that we all share in our galleries. We have the best museologists, we have the first best curators, on our curatorial board, who are building our digital museum and are speaking ahead of the fiscal one that we will commission in 2023. We must have competent black scientists in Africa and in the diaspora who are currently selecting 10,000 species from across the Pan African world to nurture in our herbal plant spirit in our museum complex. On another level, we have a two-acre plot where we will replicate a selected number of African kingdoms, ancient and modern, and showcase their history, their arts, their culture, and learn from their skills, craftsmanship, and indigenous knowledge which has sustained us to today. Mr. President, sometimes we talk about alternative medicine. I get worried. Our primary medicine is our herbal plant medicine. The WHO recognizes that 70% of Africans live on herbal plants. So how come our herbal plants become the alternative medicine? That should be our primary place. And we are going to give a lot of prominence to this in our museum complex. We are also going to have a location for African cuisines to grow our appetite for variety of African so you can have a Nigerian breakfast, Ethiopian lunch, and a Caribbean dinner. All up here. The Excellency, we are creating in addition a central park for concerts, festivals, and games, which will celebrate our strength and prowess in entertainment, sports, and festivals, events that will bring all of us together to learn and inspire each other. On the one acre heroes park, we have a committee listen to our past heroes and heroines who are hidden from history. Not just for political leaders, but achievers in our science, technology, sports, and entertainment, and literature. Oh, But I don't know if I have to mind. What I have to do is, 